Hello, all. How are you? Good. Thank you all for being here tonight. I think we have some very important information for, uh, particularly for children in our city, since tomorrow is the first day that all of the schools in the city of St. Louis will be closed. Uh, we do know that St. Louis Public Schools is on uh, spring break this week, but we have with us uh, here this evening, several people have been working very hard uh, to figure out how we can make sure that our kids, our children, uh, get the meals and the food that they need while school is out. So I'm going to introduce to you Dr. Will Pinckney, who is the Director of Children, Youth, and Families uh, for the City of St. Louis, and he'll take it from there. Thank you all. Good evening. Thank you for coming. Um, when the mayor appointed me, she, she asked me to make sure that the children in the city of St. Louis um, were able to have all they needed to be uh, healthy, safe, and to ensure their positive development. So I met with and started meeting with the group of people behind you, as well as some of the other schools who are listed on this uh, board over here, to start talking about uh, school closings. And we started meeting on Saturday. And we wanted to think about the challenges that would be faced by closing the schools. And we, so we met Saturday, we met again Monday, and we started talking about food delivery and what that meant to children once the schools closed. Uh, the group behind me, as well as the other schools, uh, had already started engaging in some of those conversations. And so we came up with a plan, thanks to their hard work and dedication. And the plan is what you see there. Uh, there will be 33 sites throughout the city. Uh, three sites will be stood up starting tomorrow, and the rest of them will be stood up starting on Monday. Um, so I would just hand this over now to um, Dr. Brown from SLPS to explain a little bit more about that. Thank you, Mr. Pinkney. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. St. Louis Public Schools, under the leadership of Dr. Adams, uh, has been revising our pandemic plan for several weeks now. We began partnering with local and county school districts um, in the city to ensure that all children have access to meals while school is not in session. Uh, we chose sites that were near within walking distance uh, from children's homes. Uh, we partnered with the charter school districts and independent school districts within the city uh, to make sure that everyone, every child, no matter whether you attend charter, independent, private, public, or county, will have access to meals during the break. So really want to extend a, um, a thank you to the mayor's office, Mr. Pinckney, for putting us together and helping us coordinate this effort to make sure that all the school districts were in partnership together uh, working on this plan. So thank you. I just want to say, you know, nutrition is important to that positive development of children. And so once again, I'm, I want to congratulate and thank the people individually. I'm going to call them up to speak. But uh, we have Candace Oliver from Confluence Academies. We have LaShonda Boone from LaSalle Miller School. We have uh, Kelly Garrett from Kip St. Louis. And we have Patrice Coffin from Carandelet Leadership Academy. So I'll call up Candace now. Good evening. Uh, we'd like to thank the mayor uh, and others uh, the St. Louis Public Schools and uh, the rest of the, really the St. Louis City and County uh, as communities and coming together. It's important for us uh, to work together in collaboration to really support the families and students that s live in the city limits relative to food. So we're pleased at Confluence to be a part of this effort. Uh, we serve a large number of students throughout the city and will open uh, three of our five sites to accommodate students and families beginning on Monday, March 23rd. So we're pleased to do that. We will offer breakfasts, we will offer lunches, and we will continue to feed and support our families through this uh, challenging time. So we're thankful to the city. We're thankful for the collaboration. I think it's a cooperative effort uh, that uh, we're supportive of. Uh, to ensure that families are taken care of and our kids are cared for. So thank you. LaShonda Boone. Good evening. Uh, we too are thankful to the mayor, Mr. Pinckney, 
St. Louis Public School and all our K through 12 partners. We will begin our food service on tomorrow, uh, March the 18th from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. And we will serve, of course, all our families. We are a small charter school in Midtown St. Louis. And we, of course, will serve all of our families and any persons that are desiring food ages 18 and under. We too jumped on board in the collaboration and just wanted to make sure that we were able to provide resources during this uncertain time to any of our families or anyone in our neighborhoods because we recognize that in order to get through this, we have to work as partners and also provide that opportunity for our families to have food. Thank you. I will say all the sites will be operating from 8 in the morning to 12 noon for any child under the age of 18 years old they do not have to have a school ID. I'll introduce Kelly Garrett now. Good evening. Uh, my name is Kelly Garrett. I'm the executive director of KIPP St. Louis. And we're pleased also to participate in this community-wide effort to ensure that all students, especially our most marginalized kids, um, receive nutritional breakfast and lunch and meals every day during this unprecedented departure from school. I want to thank you, uh, thank the mayor's office, Mayor Krusen, and um, Will Pinckney for helping coordinate and create this collaborative effort. Um, we're excited to be a participating district and know that all districts and schools are committed to serving meals um, to any student under the age of 19. So whether you are a Kipster or a student at another district, we'll be serving to any kid during those hours from 8 a.m. until noon. Um, so thank you again, Mayor Krusen, and for the other districts behind me that are participating in this important <coughs> community-wide effort. And they will be serving a sack lunch, and in that sack will contain breakfast and lunch. By the way, um, this map, uh, it is complete for now, but it, we are assessing, um, and we're going to continually assess to find out if there are any gaps that need to be filled. And all the schools you see on this board over here are willing, ready, and able to step in and they either support the existing sites or to stand up um, new sites if necessary. Patrice? Hi, happy to represent the Carondelet Leadership Academy. We are a site that will open tomorrow, as we've shared, 8 to noon. Um, Carondelet is in the very, very far southeast sector of the city, so we anticipate having um, a lot of meals prepared for whomever arrives. Um, and we're just, uh, again, we're happy to be part of the collaboration and, and to do our part. So once again, just to go over everything, this is a grab and go bag lunch containing breakfast excuse me bag meal containing breakfast and lunch it will be served between the hours of 8 a.m and 12 noon at any of these 33 sites you do not have to be a student of that site you just have to go to the site we hope that it is close enough to people so that they can just walk there and get food during that time uh, you do not need an id a student id you can just show up and um, be served children must be present to get the bag and grab and go lunch. Uh, and so that'll be um, how it will operate. Like I said, we will continually assess it uh, and make changes if we need to. Um, this group behind me and the other schools that are participating, uh, we will be talking weekly to not only talk about this, but talk about any other challenges that are taking place while the schools are closed.